Hi strangers! Yes, I am back here today because I got a Timu package in the post this morning and I am very excited to show you lots of gothic goodies today. So let's get into the package and find out what goodies we got today. <laughs> Yes, it's a very big package today, as you can see. It's a huge, big Timu package. And I am so excited to show you all the gothic goodies we have today. And the package came and it was ripped open again. This is twice it's happened now. So there was a big rip all the way down the middle of it. I'm just hoping that everything's here and we're going to have fun. Let's take a look. I'm going to do it the same as last time because it's got a hole in it and you can kind of see some of the things in here but not very well. It's a bit like weird and I can see a box and a bag back here. So I'm just going to take things from the top and yeah let's hope that nothing's missing. So let's get on with the package. So I'm going to start with this one because it's right on the top and it doesn't say anything on it so let's find out what this is first. black so that's a good sign it's a squishy cat oh my goodness this is so cute i've got to find a really cute place to put him now i love that look at this he's got his little oh my i hope my cat's around he's gonna freak out when he sees this it looks like him a bit look it looks like my binksies I put the price here so you can see how much this little cat was and yeah he's got a very round plump body and a very curvy tail and but this is what does it for me it's these big eyes because when I saw it it just reminded me of my binks and he's so cute I'm gonna call him Binks as well. I was gonna call him Beanie Binks, but he's really squishy. So yeah, he's not got any beads in there at all. It's just all spongy and squishy. I do like the ones with the little beads in the bottom because when you throw them, they make the most stranger sounds. He's cute. What do you think of this kitty? Cute. Okay, let's get on with the next, bye kitty, let's get on with the next thing in the package. Ooh, it's a bag, let's find out what's in here. Right, I'm going to put it in the front for a second because it's going to be very rattly otherwise. And let's find out what this is. As you know, you guys, I love um, Five Nights at Freddy's. And I spotted this. I'll put the price up here somewhere for you. And I love the print on this t-shirt. But it's not what I thought it was going to be like, actually it's white inside which is irritating i didn't see that on the picture otherwise i probably wouldn't have brought it i've have brought a couple of t-shirts from timu before and when they seem to have the white lining inside the, the like the color on the t-shirts don't stay strong so i've got a t-shirt that's black got black and white sleeves and i've washed it three times and the black on it looks gray it's very disappointing so i'm ho hoping this won't happen to this t-shirt but it says i survived five nights at freddy's i'd love to know if any of you guys are into games and things so if i were addressed with this it just it, you, all you can read is i survived and i thought that was pretty funny at the time but yes here it is in all its glory i like it but i hope it's it looks really big as well what size did I get? 
I think I got a bigger size because it said that UK sizes were different sizes to the US. Oh, so it is a medium. So that is the size that I normally would get. And it looks very short and very wide. So I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. But yeah, not a bad price really. But I just wish it wasn't this white material inside here because that seems just to be like rubbish material. So we'll try that one. Next thing. It's a, it's a white baggie, so you can't see what's inside. A lot of people say not to buy jewellery on Timu. But I was really, like, interested. I don't know if you can see what that is there. And this is an ear stretcher plug set. And I want to make the hole in this ear bigger. Okay, I never really wanted to go too big with my plugs. But I have seen some beautiful jewellery. And I would really like to make this hole in my ear bigger. This is a 10 at the moment. And this is the next size up. So I was thinking I could try out some of the jewellery from Timu to see if I could stretch up my ear with this. And this is very weighted, actually. Okay. That's... Oh, okay, I see. So it looks like what you have to do is you unscrew one end on here. Oh, shoot. That was a good start. I'll find that in a minute. And then this part here screws onto the end here and then you stretch, put that through your ear the hole in your ear and you stretch it through to the next size these things i don't know if you've had your ear stretched you will know that these bits when you have to leave them in your ear is so irritating because the point digs into your neck when you're trying to sleep and all things like that. So I thought this was really clever. So I can now um, stretch my ear and then unscrew this end spike and then put it back on. So I, I'm, I've already got a piercing for it as well. This was quite a reasonable price here. And it says it's stainless steel. So this should be fine. I am fine with stainless steels. So... Fingers crossed it really is stainless steel. But one will tell. And I will let you know what happens with it and if it gets infected and things like that. Just because I like experiments. I know, I'm sorry. But um, yeah. So I won't stretch it on this video today. But I might do a little video about how to stretch your ears in the future if you are really wanting to know. Because... I find it really fun so yeah let me know if you would like a video of how to stretch your ears and I will do a little video about what things we can use and things so I've got lots of other things for smaller holes this is just the next size up and on Timu they do lots of different sizes bigger bigger sizes so this is like my tryout to see whether it's worth spending out this money because it wasn't that cheap but I love the idea of this. It's perfect. So, yeah. Please, please, please comment. If you don't want to see it, then I understand because it is pretty gross. But yeah, I'm really happy I've got this. This means that I can have a bigger hole in my ear and just enjoy the pain. Because it is pain. And um, yeah, let's find the next thing. So excited. It's another white baggie. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I really don't remember what's in this parcel. I think this was a day I was feeling really depressed again. And I was just like, I'm ordering Timu. I, I need to have a Timu. So let's let's find out. Like, it's a good job that you couldn't buy this stuff around the shops. Say if, like, there was a whole town full of goth things. And I could go shopping there. I wouldn't have any money ever so it's quite nice that every now and then i get a little bit of money aside and i'm like i need to get timu and I, and it feels like it's i can go shopping online and get the things i would have done if they were around a goth town 
because there's no goth shops in towns anymore and it's so sad right let's get into this oh i love the look of this i can't wait to show you this this um reminded me a lot of beetlejuice and i i'm really wanting to get like a black and white shirt and things and like wear cool necklaces and things with it all to do with beetlejuice because i just love beetlejuice so this i thought would look really cool with a beetlejuice t-shirt or a shirt and look at that and i you know i love going for green looks every now and then and i saw this and i just thought it was so beautiful with all the greens and it shines and it's almost like a like a pearl kind of thing going on here but th i thought that was really cool i'll put the price here so you can see how much it costs but yeah oh oh the outfits i could wear with this it just makes you it's quite it's quite nice it's i think it's a plastic it's like um it's not flat completely it's like i don't know the name it's like um What's the name for it? It's like layered up plastic on here. So it's not completely flat, which I find very cool. So it gives it that whole, you know, the holes in the skull's eyes and things like that going on. But how cute is that? I really like this. Okay. That was definitely worth this price. It was more expensive than I would have brought. It's more expensive than I would have paid for it, I think, in a shop because it is just plastic and it's probably quite cheap to make but I couldn't resist this, this is so pretty it's really hard to show you about the light look at that so pretty okay next thing so I wanted to try out some lashes from Timu. I'm very fussy normally with lashes. I like them nice and light. And I wanted some more fluffier, bigger ones to try out. Even though they do tickle me like crazy. So I decided to try these. And I'll put the price here so you can see how much they cost. But yeah, I wanted to give them a go. So on some makeup videos, um, we can try these out and see what they're like. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I would love to know what kind of lashes you buy and like what kind of lashes you think would go better with my look. I just wanted to try these and also I've seen people like paint them and things like that. So ideas. Next thing. <laughs> right, ready for the next thing? God knows what this is. Let's open it and find out. Oh yeah, right. Okay, here we go. This is meant to be a body harness and this was so cheap. I'll put the price here so you can see. And I am very curious because I've always wanted to get one. And, but I never know what they're gonna be like on me because I've got a very odd shaped body. I am not like no a normal lady. I haven't got these, you know, the body shape of a lady. I don't have the, you know, the nice bosoms and the nice inward waist and that, and then really nice big hips. I am just straight and it's very boring. And yeah, I f I'm not sure what this is gonna look like on me. Um, I have put a little bit of weight on over Christmas and I've been trying so hard to go on a diet as well, which is really depressing. It's just one of the things, I think sometimes the more you try to lose weight, the more weight you put on. So I'm going to show you what it's like, but please, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. Um, so I think this is the top part and then it has like a part that goes in the middle here. And then it goes around your waist at the bottom. And I thought that was really cool because it's not too much. I don't like the ones that have got straps everywhere. So shall we try it? Okay. 
so bear with me i've got lots of hair here so i'm going to clip this around my neck move the hair out of the way excuse me hair there you go move the hair all out of the way and then so this bit goes i've got so many necklaces on things just, Okay, and then I believe that these bits tie around your waist. Is it going to fit? See, I'm in like a size medium. And probably if I was wearing a tight dress, this would just fit. I've got three t-shirts on today. I, I'm a very cold person. Oh my goodness, can I do it? Okay, so I never know where to put these things because I don't have much of like a waistline. There's nothing really that comes in. I am probably more skinnier just under my ribs than I am actually like just above my hips here. And my hips don't come out. So I don't have that, you know, the curvy shape you're meant to have. And I don't want this to be like baggy here. Maybe you can do it up tighter here. It's hard to show you. So, I think that goes up on your chest. Actually, actually, that's not bad. So, I will put the price here so you can see how much it cost. But yeah, it's not bad. I'm a size medium and I would probably say if you were a size 16, this definitely wouldn't fit you. You'd have to add extra chain, but you can always do that. That wouldn't be a problem. See, I've got about this much space. I don't think I'd like to sit down with this on, though. It'd probably snap in half. So, yeah, that's not bad, actually. I was dreading that. So dreading that. I knew that I'd got one, but I didn't know in what order it was. I wasn't sure that he got it last time and it went missing or I know I should keep an eye on things but I don't so that is this and these leather bits feel really nice but the chains do feel a bit like not metally at all but yeah I really like that that's really cool so it's got two pentagrams there I need to go out so yeah, I love that. That's so cool. My first ever body harness. I've, I've owned belts, but I've always been really worried about that. So yeah, I feel really happy that I've actually got something. That's something that I've never had before. Go me. Right. Next goodie. Right, you. I'm, I've looked at this one already, but you guys know that I have been going on and on and on about how I miss my red hair so much. So I had a brain wave, and I decided to try and cheer myself up by getting some black and red hair. Yes, I have got a lot of these, and. Yeah, I thought it'd be really cool to make some more drags with you as well. I'll put the price here. There is, I didn't realise, but there is four packs of hair in here. So there is so much hair. Um, yeah, but I thought we could do an another whole bedlock making video at some point. And yeah, and I can have my red hair, or slightly my red hair back again. And I won't have to worry about dye. So I know some of you have said, and I've had to keep quiet about this because I'm like, I got, I got red hair, but no, I, I, I have. I did order it like two weeks ago before my, um, me and my makeup, before me and my many faces, I already ordered some because I was sitting doing the videos, and I got myself really upset. I was like, I really do want red hair again, and I was like, why don't you buy yourself some red hair? 
I was like, yes, I should buy myself some red hair. Red hair makes me happy. So yes, it, I'm not sure about this colour though. I'm not sure if you can dye this stuff. So we're going to have fun anyway. We'll make some dregs and we'll see what colour this is. Because it is looking slightly a bit like a like a darker red i'm not sure like a pinky dark red so i'm just hoping it's gonna look cool so yeah exciting stuff I'm so confused. Ah, okay. Oh, this is actually so pretty. Okay, I know why I got this now. I found this and I thought this was really cute. I'm not too sure whether this cross is going to annoy me. But I thought this would look really nice with a dress. Yeah, you know, I, I've only just started, started to wear crosses out and about. Because people used to always complain at me when I used to wear pentagrams a lot. They used to shout at me saying it's the Star of David and um, how I shouldn't wear religious things out and about. And I was like, well, people wear crosses all the time. You know, it's... But to me, like, but to me, the cross is not a religious symbol. The This symbol means so much more than just a cross to me. After doing all my tattooing stuff, I... I looked into the cross and I found out so much about it. So, yeah, it's got a lot of background to this, the cross. So, very interesting. So, yeah, I just really love this. I think it's really cool. And I'm looking forward to wearing that. Might wear that actually on Sunday when we go to the graveyard. Because that would just look really pretty. Yay! Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. This is so much stuff in here, oh my goodness. Right, let's get the next thing out. It's a box. I think I might know what this is actually. This is another one to try and cheer myself up. Let's see if it cheers me up or not. Okay. I've been so much actually more happier the last couple of days. So that's that's really good. So let's but this is amazing. I love Team Rooster. Okay. Let's see what goth bargain we put this time. <laughs> okay. If I can find out how to open the flicking box. Oh, there's something breakable inside. I'm scared. Do you know when you get something through the post and you see this? This is when I'm like, oh no, it's going to be broken. Okay. And I make so much mess normally. Look, I've already got it on my fingers. And I'm worried I have to like hoover straight afterwards because the cats, I don't want the cats eating their stuff. So I know it's really dangerous, okay. I don't want to eat it. I don't even know why I did that. I think I'm delirious or something, right? Don't do that. Okay. Right, what have we got in here? Oh my goodness. Oh my, it's so slippy. Right. This is not the size I thought this was going to be. You know that I have been going nuts for this kind of a frame. And I saw them. I got it into my teeth though. And I saw these and this said it was going to be 21 centimetres. It might be, no. But I'm really confused, right? When you measure picture frames, normally the measurements are from here to here. And that is definitely not 25 centimetres. I know how big a 30 centimetre ruler is, I think. So I'll put the price here so you can see how much it was. But I thought this was going to be at least that big. 
that well that this is 30 centimeters so at least like the frame inside the picture here at least being this big but i think they must have done the measurements from the highest point here to all the sides or something probably from the top to the bottom it's it's probably about 25 centimeters but apart from that it's quite a pretty frame That is not a still what I wanted. My ghosty and cat is not going to fit in here. <sighs> it's back to the drawing board for me then. Me saying, oh, I found loads of frames on Timu. And then it turns up and it's this size. Most of them are only 20 centimetres. They probably do that because of the, the, because the size and the weight maybe. I'm not sure. But it does feel like there's glass in here. I think that's glass. I might actually open it and find out. So I'm sliding back this back panel here. And it's, oh, it's, you just fold it open. You don't even have to take the thing off. And then we have this. And then we have this beautiful picture of some flowers, darling. And then we have some beautiful images of these absolutely yummy flowers and i really think this is glass yeah i think it's glass in there wow actually for this price that isn't that bad but yeah and i think i've got two of these so i'm gonna open the other one as well No, I'll open, I'll open the other one later because this video is going to be so long. But yes, there is two of these. But I don't even know what to put inside of here. I'm sure I can find some kind of image to go in here. I was thinking maybe I could put my haunted boo um, pictures in these as well. But I probably would have to cut quite a lot of the image off to get them inside. Which I don't really want to do. So, yeah, not sure. Right, the next thing. Sorry, I'll get up and I'm like, <gasps> right, the next thing. It's another baggie. And inside the bag, my ears have gone so red. I am so sorry. When I get slightly hot, I have this really embarrassing, really embarrassing thing happen to me. My ears go bright red i have got quite big ears and when i get warm my ears always go really red and everyone used to tell me that it's someone talking about me but i think it's just this one's not this one's not red this one is burning red and hot so let's find out what's in this bag <gasps> yes it's the pin can you remember that I um, ordered the gold one last time? So I did order myself a silver one. I really wanted to paint the gold one, but I have had an idea for this. Um, I don't normally like gold, but I have this really, really nice brooch and it's like um, a cross with little roses on it. And um, I'm not sure what else. And I think a little skull. And I was thinking about painting the little roses on it black because they're pink at the moment. And then making some kind of um, like a, the brooches to get like the gold brooches together kind of thing. So yeah, I thought that'd be really interesting to do. But I did want to have one for my hat for the rest of this cold season we're having. And I love that so much. Love it. So yes, I'm excited to go and put this on my hat now. really odd there's a little card in here with a cross inside that's very odd it's like a mini postcard i don't know if you can see the back there it has got like a little place to put a tiny stamp here and it's got lines that's very odd um but inside of that is this 
Oh, is that the right? No, it's the right way up. I really love that. That's so cool. I have got a thing for pentagrams. So I thought this would look really good with a black and red look when I do one next. I've got a t-shirt near enough with the same design as this with the go inside. So I'll put the price here so you can see how much this cost. I really love these borders on, on jewellery. And if it were, I might even wear that one day. I might pull back my fringe and wear that on my forehead because that is so beautiful. Loves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another baggie. This is such a lot. I probably won't be ordering from Timmy for a while. Um, look at this. I really like this. This looks like a really old, like, you know, Victorian fashioned brooch or necklace. Do you know they used to wear them like in the clasp in the middle of their chokers and like some old pictures? But I couldn't resist the the statue on there of the Baphomet on this. I thought it was really cool. And again, for a black and it's almost looks like an ivory colour it's hard to show you but it's not it's not white if I put it against white there you can see it's not it's not white so but it, I still really like that I think they look really nice when I'm wearing my like my Victorian style tops my velvet Victorian tops I thought this would look so cool with that There's only one thing left now, guys. And I'm hoping I've saved the best for last because there's a picture on this box. I have been eyeing up this thing on TV for a long time. And I was like, I just wonder what it is like because Timo is really strange. They kind of seem to have this first picture of a picture of, you know, probably someone else's image or something and then they have pictures of their uh, what it looks like afterwards and some of them are very scary looking if you don't believe me go check it out and find something you like look at the first image but then flick through the rest and always read at people's reviews as well they are so helpful because some things i've always wanted and if i'll go on there and the reviews only like one star then I will not buy. And this I was very worried about because there's not a lot about it. And the pictures were all different. So let's find out what we got. It's kind of like a mystery box because you're not sure what kind we will get. Of this wall hanging sh sofa. Wall hanging so far. Let's find out. No, 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 not more of this stuff again. I laugh every time I see it. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me today. It's black. That's a good start, right? I'm kind of worried about this. Scared, worried. Feeling very uncomfortable. Oh, it's way up. Okay, let's look for the first time together, shall we? Are you ready? Are you ready? Timu, you've done it again. I am blown away. I thought this was going to be completely rubbish. But look, 
That is actually really cool. It's not as black as I would like. It's slightly a brown colour, but I can I can fix that. I love that. That is so cool. I tell you what, I do want this wall full of upside down crosses. And I thought that this would look really cool somewhere along a wall with that. But I love this. That's not bad. And, and it only costs this much as well. So a complete bargain. And... The picture, I was so scared though. But yeah, here it is. Absolutely love it. And it's got a hole at the back so we can hang it up on the wall as well. So that's going to look sick. I'm impressed with that. That's made my day. I was so worried about this because it's the most expensive thing I brought. And I don't buy a lot of expensive things of team I needed to see what this was like and I love it so yes well done Timu you did another good thing here you made a golf girl very happy indeed so yes that's all my Timu things sadly for today thank you so much for coming along today and watching my Timu gothic goodie haul here and I am very impressed with everything I got and I love my bargains and I love my Timu. So thank you. if you did enjoy the video, thank you so much. If you enjoyed it a lot, then please subscribe because it will help me out a lot. And I will see you in the next video on Sunday for our graveyard vlog, which I'm very excited about because we're going to a new graveyard. And I will see you Sunday. Goodbye. And don't forget, be weird, be yourself, and be different. Because otherwise, I'm really sorry to tell you this, if no one's told you already, you are just boring. Goodbye. It's a big one!